Hi, I'm Elizabeth Townsend Gard um, from Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School. Today we have a video, a video, um, and we're doing a sew along, a sew along where Gigi Bai will be leading us through Jen Kingwell's The Gypsy Wife Quilt, which is awesome. Um, so these are videos that Gigi will produce um, and help us understand how to do it. And Corey Dutton, um, a law student, is going to learn to quilt. So um, it's for beginners, advanced people, even law students. Um, and it will be great. So uh, I hope this helps. So where do you find the pattern? Um, Jen Kinkwell's pattern can be found at Amazon. It's again called the Gypsy Wife Quilt. It's super popular. You can also get it at Uptown Needle and Craftworks here in New Orleans. Just um, look them up online and call them or at any quilt shop. So get the pattern and join us. Okay, now we're going to work on our half square triangle block. And we made one in the last section. And um, we did some half square triangles, paper piecing. But this is kind of a big one that you can do all at one time. You end up with 12 2-inch half square triangles that look like this. And so I've already made some. And I mix and matched in the last half square triangle um, block. And so I'm going to make it again this way. This um, came from the same site, the Generations um, Quilt Blocks. And what I did was, before I made a copy of this, I took a Sharpie, not a Sharpie, a um, highlighter, and I put a little dot where I wanted to start. And I just drew myself arrows to know that I'm going to come up to this point, then over to here. And I can follow my arrows all the way around and down and up and around again so that I end up sewing on all the lines just like you do on a half square triangle when you do a quarter of an inch away from each seam then I'm going to go back and cut on all the solid lines and that will give me the 12 2 inch half square triangles to put together with these to make a fun half square triangle block. So I hope this works for you. Um, you can also do it where you do a square. We've done it before where you put two squares together and you take your ruler, which I'm missing, but you take a ruler and and draw a line. Let's say this is your square. You want to draw a line um, down with a, a seam down the middle, like this really, and then a quarter of an inch on either side is where you would sew. We've done it before. Um, that way. This just seemed like a fun, easy way to do it, to get 12 at one time. So I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so we have it all sewn together, and I've trimmed it up, so you, oh, I'm just left with the solid lines here to cut. And you can see on the back, it's all sewn, and what I'm going to do when I cut through these solid lines is cut between my two sew lines, and then cut along here and here, and that will create my half square triangles. So let's look and see. We'll start with our nice long cut down the middle. And we want to be pretty exact here. We want to cut right on the line um, when we're doing this so that we can end up with our real straight, nice half square triangles. So, we should this. Let's see what happens when I cut this one in half. And we now have oops, there we go, some half square triangles. Now I have to trim them up, get rid of the dog ears, but they'll be ready to go and be placed in. Um, how are they going to go? I have to look and see how it goes. I think it's with that, with the lighter color on the bottom. So then we're, we're alternating them around and make just a fun scrappy um, half square triangle. Um, Block that should measure, I believe, eight and a half inches when I'm done. So I'll just continue as I'm doing here, cutting on these solid lines. Don't forget when you're doing your piecing to put it on the um, smaller, much smaller stitch length so that your paper will peel away really easily. Um, you can also use a little bit of a thicker needle. Um, you can have a special cutter for when you're cutting through the paper piecing pieces that is kind of a a blade that you're ready to change soon anyway. You don't want to do a brand new blade and have it cut through the paper and get it dull faster. Um, you can use scissors. That works also. I just um, like doing it this way. I also bought this 
ruler for my birthday in July. It is a um, Creative Grids half square four in one triangle ruler. And so it has this marking place here. So if I do want to ever mark it myself, I'll have a way to mark it um, the half square, um, I mean, a quarter of an inch thin things, and I could just write it, do it right through there. And then you line it up on these markings, and you can trim up your dog ears and get it squared up to whatever size square it is that you're wanting to use. So that was my treat for my birthday that I did for myself. Okay, I'm going to finish cutting these up, and then we'll talk about putting them together. And you'll need 16. It's going to be a 4x4 four four half square triangle um, grouping that you'll need for this block in particular. And then we'll look at our pinwheel. Hi. So I've got it all laid out now and trimmed up. No more dog ears. And so what I'm going to do is work row by row and get um, all of these put together. Quarter inch seam, just right sides together, put it together, stitch along here, open it up. And take the next one and just keep working row by row then put this row to this row and this row to this row and then all of it together and you'll have a um, half square triangle block just like the one you made in section four this is elizabeth townsend guard from just one quilt you've been listening to Gigi by take us through an aspect of the gypsy wife quilt by jen kingwell Make sure you get the pattern. You can get the pattern at Amazon or Uptown Needle and Craft Works here in New Orleans or at your local quilt shop. Um, you need the pattern to be able to understand what's going on. And then um, Gigi helps us through it. So join us. Come play with us. Come to our Facebook group, Just Want a Quilt. Uh, go to our website and be part of our newsletter where we'll help you through the Gypsy Wife Quilt. Um, that's JustWannaQuilt.com spelled W-A-N-N-A Just Want a Quilt um, and of course listen to our podcast it's available on iTunes Stitcher Spreaker and if you can't a chance to like it on those it would be super awesome <laughs>